Hey guys and welcome to my channel and welcome to this video. Today we will be doing a quite simple drawing, painting and I guess I decided to do it in real time because I don't think it's gonna take a lot of the time to do it. So I thought to myself why not let's just do it in real time let's just do this uh, project together and for this one I will be using this uh, watercolor paper. This is from Gestarker. It is a uh, um, cold pressed <laughs> and it is 24 by 32 centimeters and 300 gsm it is also in the block so i'm gonna be uh using this one and i guess you can use it uh, you can just use basically any watercolor paper you have that would be fine i thought when we finish with this we could just do uh cut it in cards if you like that if not if you want to keep it as a one painting that's also fine that is up to you so uh, also we will be needing some ink pen and i will be using quite thick ink pens actually i will be using this uh, 08 and 05 from etcher and uh some watercolors but we'll get to that a little bit later on all the materials are listed in the description box if you want to check something out you can find it there also this painting this idea was actually inspired let me just start with uh, gluing the tape on my paper actually this is not something you need to do for this project you can just divide your paper into four parts or maybe you have already cut it into four different cards that's fine i just want to glue it to uh, make a border for you to see it a little bit more easier so i guess as i said this is not really necessary my paper is 32 centimeters so i'm just gonna draw in the half it's at 16 and just divide it in a half horizontally and vertically okay and then i just want to also again find a half here it's 24 so it's 12. And I'll just put it somewhere here for me to a little bit easier glue my tape on. As I said, this is just because I want to glue my tape. And it doesn't have to even be perfectly even. That's fine. This is just, a, this is a just, this is going to be just a, I guess the reference for you guys so that when we uh, start drawing and painting you could just see the distinction just cut that and also glue it here so I'm gluing it on half something like that it's gonna be fine like that let me just check how far am I this is 11.2 11.3 that's fine 11.2 11.2 that's great awesome that was well I guess yeah it's fine enough so as I said, we'll be using some ink pens. That's going to be primarily what we're going to use. And you can do a sketch if you like. I'm not going to do it. As I said, it's, it's going to be quite simple. So I don't really need a sketch. And I will just dive right into the painting, into drawing. But if you prefer it, you can just, um, you can just use a sketch. You can just make yourself a sketch. So uh, as I said, I'm using 05 and 08. First, I will start with 05 and I'm gonna do three flowers for the first one. I'm just gonna start somewhere, I don't know, somewhere here. So just gonna do a wire like that. And then from that, I will just draw in lines from my 
first one, you guessed it, it's going to be a dandelion. So I'm just drawing in those circles, even though I am planning to do them in paint. For the second one, I'm going to place it somewhere here. I want to leave the space up top for the for the dandelion but this one is going to be a bit more rounded so it's not gonna be open as much and you cannot really go wrong with this this is just a fun project if you have kids you can do it with kids we're not gonna fuss too much about details and just worry ourselves with that that's going to be the second one and for the third one i will tilt it a little bit more on the side so it's going to be like that and the edge and this one is going to be quite wide with some stems salmons going also downwards so this one just whew, went overboard. So some of those dots are, as you can see, a bit smaller, some are a bit larger. So that's like that. Doesn't it look gorgeous already? So I will uh, now write in the text and actually for the text I will be using, I actually lied to you, I will be using a little bit thinner ink pen. So I will use this 02 and you can definitely do this with one, one ink pen. Don't be bothered with the sizes of the ink pen. You can do it. So we will write in the text. Just keep in mind that we do have some space here and we do have some space also here. So I will write in the text, you are special to me. Just you can write in any text you like. I'm just trying to be precise. As much as possible, but you know me, I'm not ever trying to be a perfectionist, so that's really not not my thing. So we are done with the first one for now with the ink pen. Let's just do the second one. I'm looking for that 05 again. Maybe I won't. Yeah, I will be using 08 right now. So for the second one, I will do again a couple of flowers. And first one, they're going to be like buds. First one, I will do a little bit somewhere like here. I do want to start off this time. with the flower itself. I did put here and this is just bugging me because I put some cream on my hand and it's greasy and I don't want to grease my paper. So I'm using this and it's kind of annoying. So let's just get the 08 and I'll put in the top go back to zero 05. You can see you can do this with one ink pen. I'm just showing off. <laughs> you know, I have them, so why not use them, right? And for the second one, I will put it uh, somewhere here. Let's just say, again, gonna do the same thing. Draw in central part and then just the stem do the top and then do those 
again lines like that and for the third one let's just place it here somewhere it's gonna go maybe a bit or not over the middle one you can of course change the change the placement of yours your flowers if that's what you like it's completely up to you like that and I do want to add here also some foliage so I will put in one here and you know what how I'm gonna do it I'm just gonna try it uh, try to do it with one stroke not to get my um, to get my hand off my paper so it's gonna this is gonna be funny and like that and I do want to put in one here one here and here just go all the way in this is fun <laughs> so again I'm gonna do one here on this side also I'm gonna put it here and do and it doesn't matter if they go on top of my flowers I'm not gonna try to avoid that like that oh I like that and I will write in the text again using smaller ink pen this one this is a zero two and I'm gonna put in here with the love As I said, you can just write in any text you like, depending on the occasion that you're using this for. This is going to be the third one, the, the second one done, so don't you just love them? I love them already. Maybe I don't want to touch them. Yeah, I'm going to do a little bit of the watercolors on top. So let's just move to the third one. For the third one, again, 05. I'm gonna start with my flower and I do want to place the flower here again I will just try to do it in one stroke so like that and you know what I actually find this easier to do when I do it with one stroke so that's gonna be my flower and I will just add a a little bit of the foliage again I will try to do it with one stroke like that and then put in a different one like that and on the other side I can tell you this is super fun trying to do it in one stroke Just give it a try, you'll find it quite interesting. Like that. That's gonna be the third. And I'm gonna use 02 to write in the text. And this is going to be, it's your day. it is your day like that and for the last one again going to the 0, 05 and I will do a couple of flowers here I will just place one here do the central part again I'm gonna try to do it with one stroke this one looks quite funny but it doesn't matter you're gonna like it
like that and second one we're gonna place it here again gonna try to do it in one stroke that this one and maybe third one I will just place it here up top and this one I'm gonna do it just having the center like that and just gonna do stem for that like that and I will do a couple of embellishments if I can call them like that like that and maybe a few here like that like that oh I like that and I'm gonna write in the text this one I'll put here on this side. This is going to be Your smile is my good mood pill. So let's just start your smile. Is. so it, it did kind of stop my camera but I think you catched everything so now that we're done with inking I can just remove the tape just or not no let's not let's just leave it for now I will uh, put I will just use the watercolors now and for the watercolors, I will be using my two sets. This is Sky and this is Cozy, second edition. Let me just spray that just to activate the paint a bit. And I will get this small brush because for now, because I will just do a couple of details. On the first one, I will be using yellow. Let me just get a tray here. Can you see that? Let's just rearrange this on table so you can see everything. So I just picked up yellow. Let me just also go in here a bit. So just to have a little space put in some yellow and I will just do a few of those dots and some are already painted uh, drawn some not so like that and for the second one also just a little pop of color that's gonna be quite enough and for the last one, you can add in maybe some dots, even if you did not draw your underline there. So why not? You can just add in whatever you like, like that. This is just a perfect pop of color, if you ask me. And for the second one, I will be using some green. And this time I will just get a bit larger brush. Rinse it in water. Pick up some green. And again, water it down. And I will just put in some of the some of the leaves not all of them 
but some like that. Again, just enough pop of the color. What we can do right now is get, yeah, you guessed it, a couple of splatters. I will do the same thing for the first one. Just do a couple of splatters. And now we can move on to the third one. For the third one, I will be using this turquoise. Let's just see where I'm going to put it here. Some turquoise, again, quite watered down. And I will just paint in against some leaves like that. And some uh, petal cement, and I will do a couple of splatters here also, like that. And for the last one, for the last one, I will be using some brown right here, and I will be using some orange. So I want to have this orangey brown tone. And with that orangey brown tone, actually, I will be using smaller brush this time. I will just put in like that some of this foliage. Like that. There you go. And you know what? I'm gonna use this also this time to put some of it in the center. And I will go back to this a bit larger brush. Do a couple of splatters. And that's gonna be it. That's gonna be it. Let's just move everything. As I said, it's gonna be quite simple and fast. So, like that, I'm getting it back. Does it fit? And I will just remove the tape. And by the end of this video, you will see this cut. So, two and two more. Oh, I love them. They're quite simple, but super, super, super fun to do. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed it. You uh, love this little project. You're gonna find you are finding it interesting. Maybe you're gonna give this one a try. And thank you so much for joining me today and for doing this with me, for painting with me. Hopefully, you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please hit the like button, share it, comment. It does really help to reach a wider audience and. Somehow, lately I see that my videos are not really reaching a lot of people. I'm not really sure why. I'm not doing anything different. I have noticed that some of the artists on YouTube have the same issue. So I just wanted to ask you, please, uh, if you watched this video, if you did like it, to like it, to comment, and just help me reach a little bit wider audience and help me, uh, I guess, grow my channel. Well, I guess thank you so much for watching this video today and for painting with me and I really do hope I will see you next time. Bye!